What's that over there? Well, that doesn't look like snow to me. Maybe it's just ice. But ice doesn't move. Oh my goodness! It's... It's a polar bear! Oh! <gasps> You woke me from my nap! <gasps> I... I... I thought you'd be scary. But obviously you're just tired. How did I manage to wake you? I was miles and miles away. Well... To be honest... I could smell you. Us polar bears can pick up a scent from over a kilometre away. Which is like the length of a swimming pool times 20. No way! I never realised how big you'd be, Percy. I've never really seen a real-life polar bear before. Yeah, well, we're the biggest meat-eating land mammals in the world. We can actually weigh as much as 10 men. <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm really hungry. Because I'm so big, I have to make sure that I eat enough to give me energy. The only problem is, I hunt on the ice fields. They're shrinking as the world starts warming up. In fact, they're getting smaller. Oh, it takes so much energy to get to the different ice fields now they're further away. Sometimes I just stay on land during summer and live off my fat stores. But all I want to do is be out on the ice. Oh no, Percy, that's so sad. Is there anything the Habitat HQ gang can do to help? Well, you know Eric told you about CO2 being trapped by a barrier? This barrier of bad gases are left in our air, and this warms our planet up, which is called global warming. As the planet warms up more and more, it means my icy home is melting. So, please can you make sure you're doing your bit? Just something like spending a bit less time in the shower? That could really help save me. Oh, sounds like dinner. See you later, Jack. Poor Percy. Well... I hope he managed to catch his dinner.